Oh. Oh, I see. Is this is this where the, the, the young elitist hipsters take on the, the ancient dodgy in the way types? Oh, no, no, I love your band. I love your band too. You don't know my band. It's called sexual race. Is, is, I'm the I'm the forty five I'm the forty five year old narc. I don't read that maximum rock and roll. I don't read that flip side. I don't watch that T V set. You ever get the feeling that LA is dead? Not deader than any other place. That's Not true. Not deader than some people's minds. <laughs> okay, boy, wrap it up. I'm cold, I'm wet, and I'm busy selling out, so I gotta get backstage to my women and my cocaine. So, what else do you wanna know? Quite honestly, most women bore me. You know, if they smoke, I'm turned off. If they drink, I'm out of there. Uh, if they're stupid, I'm bored. If they're mean, I'm bored. If they're trying to use me, I'm out of there. So I guess I'm very picky. If they don't work out, I'm not interested. If the mind is lazy and the body's lazy, who cares? You mean working out uh, physically? That's right. Out. Oh, that's if they're right. not in shape, hey. Go be fat on someone else's time. Now, one more thing, you write a lot, and well, we know that you're a publicist as well. How will your diary of today look like? Uh, we came and played our guts out, and then we had, I had to do this interview when I should have been able to be left alone so I could breathe hard. I'm sorry for that. That's okay. Okay. We'll see you later on then. Okay. You actually do target you two quite a lot. Is that because they actually took uh, your old record label, SST, to court and kind of made them go bust? No, no. A lot of bands, a lot of people want to take SST to court. Uh, no, I just think they're just one of the examples of how music has been made into a travesty over the years. I mean, a band like that takes a year to make ten little songs and they take three years to tour it and then they want you to elect them to some kind of disgusting hierarchy. These guys just see it okay to, you know, just go to do those 80,000 seaters and keep milking and milking you. So it's not very musically ambitious for someone who seems to be so sincere. Hey, I see a monkey. You got it wrong, son. Here's an example. Singer's trying to sing. Don't get in the singer's way when he's trying to sing. Good deal? Go away now. Dear Anne, you used to be fun, at least funny, at least gently and amusingly insane. But girlfriend, you've changed. The thousand-yard stare you've acquired in the last couple of years says lonely nights, too much wine, and insecurity about the future of your career. Where to now, my sweet fascist? Do I see a tattoo? No. Oh, come on, I want to take my clothes off in a record store. Please, is this not inhuman enough? <laughs> I've had a cop put his gun in my eye socket, came into my room. It's John Wayne time, man. California cowboys riding those motorcycles, riding those cars. They're all buffed out, you know, got the pants all tailored, all tight and everything. These guys look great, you know, it's all Gold's Gym and, you know, they're tan. They got, you know, they got that big neck, you know, they got that, you know, mustache. And, and, and the thing that's really great about these cops is they look like, like leather boys. They look like hardcore gay guys. They go, oh, I'm afraid of you. I'm like, <laughs> and, and they go, I thought you'd hit me or something. And I go, why do you think that? Well, because you look so crazy when you play. What is your opinion of the recent heavy metal craze of the last couple of years? If you really wanted to be hard about it, you should get up in all the silly clothes and then go down to East L.A. and see how long you last. You know, dress in your Motley Crue outfit, you know, and say, scream your lyrics and then go down to East L.A. where the real hard people live. Rise above! 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 Rise above!
Listen to that fucking stupid asshole redneck telling me to get a haircut and go home. Listen to that fuckhead. Hey, go home, dear, eh? Go home and leave me so I can drink and fucking be non-existent, dear. I don't want to be anything. I want to just fucking be dead and drunk and stupid, dear. Okay? So we're going to cut our hair and we're going to get some guns and we're going to fuck you right in your ass. Most of my work comes from outrage. It what motivates me to... It puts enough fire in my blood to where I can get up and have to write something. That's why I don't write it like, Hi, girl, it's nice to see you again. Uh, you know, like so many of these bands, I just look at them and just go like... <laughs> How dare you get on a stage and waste people's time with this insipid crap, you know?